Hello, welcome back to Paul's Stuff. This is my space on YouTube where I talk about all the things I love. Lots of Star Wars, lots of lightsabers. And one of the things I'm doing currently is taking a kind of retrospective look at um, my collection of Black Series six inch figures. But I'm adding to that all of the time. And so as I get new figures, I'm doing videos on those. And today is one of those. And the figure we're going to be looking at today is the brand new Return of the Jedi uh, Darth Vader. I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit so that we can see all of him. There he is in all of his glory. So uh, this figure has just been released on um, here in the UK on 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi card backs. Um, he uh, has a um, a, uh, a three-part helmet to be able to do a face reveal. And he also comes with an alternative hand so you can do the scenes at the end of uh, Return of the Jedi where he's had his hand cut off. Um, really, really nice figure. Uh, and an update, really a significant update on the original Return of the Jedi figure, um, Darth Vader figure, which I also happen to still have. And he is from 2014. He came out as part of the Blue Line series from 2014-15. Um, but this figure dates back to 2014. 14. I believe he's number two in um, the Blue Line range. So a really old figure. Um, hopefully here you can see the differences. The new figure is superior in sculpt in almost every way. Um, this older figure came with a, a chain for the for the cape. Um, I never really kind of liked that. It always looked a bit out of scale to the rest of the figure. Um, I don't mind so much if a figure is under or over scale itself, but when you've got accessories that just don't look right on the figure or parts of the costume that don't look right because they're under or over scale, that concerns me a little bit. Um, and you can see here that the new one has massively better helmet um, the face plate has the two-tone painting on it um, the the uh, shoulder armor is much much better and improved the new figure um, is based I believe off of the Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader figure which has butterfly joints in the shoulders um, the lightsaber blade has been improved there are any number of improvements that this figure has had. Um, one thing I don't like about the new figure is the soft goods. For some reason, Hasbro always seem to put these sort of massively voluminous um, capes on Darth Vader. So um, look at the size of this thing. There's his helmet falling off. This cape is ridiculously large. This is uh, the cape for the new Darth Vader. Look at this, I can't even get it in shop for you. It's that big. Um, and that means then that, that you have a huge volume of, um, huge volume of, um, cape to deal with when you're trying to pose this figure now one of the things i'm finding i'm going to be posing this figure with my new luke skywalker figure and i'm going to have him kind of sitting down in that slumped pose at the end of return of the jedi uh, with luke bending over him and taking his mask off and it's really difficult to do because there's so much cape behind this guy 
So here we can see the new Darth Vader head sculpt, which is really rather nice. Um, the new head sculpt is much better than the old one. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Um, one thing you did notice there was how easy it is to knock that helmet off. Um, comes in three parts. You have the, the neck piece, which is permanently attached. Then there's this really nice face plate. With lots of detailing on it. And then finally, the dome, which again is nice. It's, uh, it's made of a shinier plastic than the old one. Um, I, I mentioned the, the hand is removable. So that just pops off of a peg. And then his alternative hand just pops on. And then you have Darth Vader with his battle damaged hand. So how does the face compare with the old Darth Vader figure? So let's remove this one's helmet. He has a three piece helmet as well. Um, for a long time, I didn't realize that the, the face plate was a separate piece because it fits really tightly into the, into the, um, the dome piece. Uh, but he also has a three piece helmet um, interestingly there seems to be a lot more detail on the the inner piece of the neck on the original Darth Vader is a side-by-side -side comparison you can see how much better the new Vader is I think they've increased the size of the head a little bit um, definitely improved the colour. The old one always looks a little bit grey. And yeah, overall, a massive improvement with this figure. So, um, the only other thing I found with the new figure um that i'm not so keen on his um his hips are really loose so um they don't they don't take much at all to bend them so if you, if you have him in a, a slightly wider stance and happen to push on him he's, he will start to do the splits on you um i think the joints could have been a little bit tighter on him um but there we have it. That's the new Return of the Jedi Darth Vader with the face reveal. I think it's, a, for all my criticisms of it, I think it's a really nice figure. Um, I think they've done a good job of this. There have been criticisms of, of the, um, the faceplate not being very secure. It does clip into that neck piece, but it's quite fiddly, I find, to get it to do it. Um, I think there's a knack to it that you have to try and, and find. And if you if you never get that knack, it's it's always loose. Um, it yeah, it's difficult because the articulation for the head is on the head. So moving the head becomes difficult because the face mask breaks apart when you move the head. Because um, part of it is moving and part of it isn't. It, it's, yeah, it's not great, but it's probably the best solution to get a face reveal Darth Vader. Um, I know there's the, the partial reveal Darth Vader coming from the Kenobi series. Um, I'm really interested to see how that one looks, although I'm not currently connecting figures from Kenobi, so I probably won't get that. Um, tempted as I am, um, I have to temper my collecting somehow. And one of the ways I do that is to um, 
to uh, pick and choose which um, which uh, lines of figures I buy. Um, so currently my collection consists of the original three films, uh, The Mandalorian, uh, The Prequels and The Clone Wars, Rogue One, and I have a couple from the sequel series, but I'm really not counting those, I don't collect those, and Solo. Um, I think I actually have every figure from Solo that's been released, released now. So um, there is a video on my figures from Solo, um, or maybe two videos, I can't remember now. Um, so if you want to go and have a look at that, that's on my channel. Um, or it will be coming to my channel soon if it's not there already. Um, but for now, from Darth and Darth and myself, that's everything for today. Really hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Um, don't think I've seen a comparison between these two figures on YouTube yet. So um, it may be a first for that. I, I can't claim that because I don't know for certain. Um, but if you like this sort of content as well, um, there's plenty of it on my channel. I, I have Black Series 6-inch figure collection. I collect Black Series helmets, um, lightsabers, uh, not necessarily Black Series lightsabers, but lightsabers generally. Um, I like the stuff from Galaxy's Edge. Most things Star Wars and a few other things as well. Um, so if you like that sort of content, if you're into these sort of Star Wars collectibles, toys and um, and things like that, you may well find the channel is, is worth subscribing to. Um, and if you hit the notification bell, that will also tell you when new videos are coming up. Um, but for now, from me, from Darth Vader, that's everything for today. So that just leaves me to say, I hope to see you all again soon. And... Cheerio, everyone.